Hello, Crazy Big Farm here with a how-to video on the new layout mode. I want to fit some more ducks onto my gourmet farm, so today we'll be re rearranging that. Before we get started, let's get a couple things out of the way so you know offhand how it works. To start the layout mode, you click on the icon down here in your menu bar. It will open up this window. And you can click on store everything and it will store all the buildings on your farm. And you can also click on store or decorations and it will store all your decorations. But right now I wanna show you that you notice my bakery was done. So I'm gonna put that in there and see if it will still be done when I take it back out. So you just click on it and move it over to the window and place it in there and it's in there and then when you're ready to take it out you just click on it again and it'll be right on your mouse pointer like this and you put it back in place and let's cancel and voila it's still there and it's ready to go so and there's another thing I wanted to point out to you on my flower farm. I am upgrading an olive grove. So let's see if it maintains its upgrade. So we'll click on the layout mode icon again, and there's the window. So I'm gonna pick up my olive grove. I'm gonna put it in there, and there it is. And by the way, you can't you can't close this out with that with anything in the window if you notice you can only cancel and that will put it back on the farm but so let's put it back on the farm and voila there it is still building okay so let's go back to the gourmet farm <clears throat> So now we know that it will maintain its upgrade status and um, your harvest that's ready to be collected without collecting it. All right, so let's open it up again and I'm gonna click on store everything. Whee, look at that. All right. And it stored all the decos too without even me asking to. Oh my goodness, I didn't wanna do that because I had a lot of decos that had um, BHP on them. Oh, well. Okay, so I've been wanting to, like I said, I've been wanting to fit on at least four more um, Northern Light ducks. So I made myself a template. Oh, and I made it available to all of you if you would like to use it. So you go to my templates and then go to Gourmet Farm, and it'll be at the bottom of the list. Okay, right there, 2019, and there it is. You just click on it, and it makes it big enough to see. So let's drag this tab right over next to the Game tab so we can switch between the two of them easily. All right. So you'll notice over in the right-hand corner, I got all my Viking ducks. So let's put them there on the screen first. Um, you have to scroll through your list to find everything. Let's find these ducks. Oh, there we go. And you can use the icons up here to flip your, but it's easier just to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. All right, so we got one in place and this one is upgrading because I just got it. So we're gonna put that on the second row. And the good thing about my templates or even if you make your own template, you maximize every single itch inch of space on your farm so you're not wasting anything. Okay, so the top row was four ducks and the second row will fit four more ducks, but I only have one because I'm getting them with my silver coins. So then you look back on the template again and then 
it's my six um, giant dogs. So let's go back and they were at the beginning of the list. So, and you flip it. And uh, another thing you might wanna do also is to put your view in outline view. And that way you can tell that you're not missing any spaces. And then flip it again. See how easy that is once I put it in outline view? You can tell exactly where it goes. All right, so far so good. And then I'm gonna look at my template again. And then we got the dog house, the water tower, our deco our workshop, and the cat tree. So let's find our dog house. All right, there's my dog house. I'm gonna put that right there. And the workshop goes right there. There was a four by three deco that goes there. And then we gotta find our cat tree, which is, all right, where's my cat? Oh, there he is. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. And I believe I have two rows of houses next. Yep, two rows of houses. If you notice on my um, template, I made it so it would look, you know, unique. So I got uh, island houses on the top and then three simple houses. That's why I'm being fussy. Oops, I already got my three simple houses. Oops. Okay, now I finish off with the island houses. And there we are. So next in line is the bakery. Find our bakery. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can so the video isn't real long. Okay, and then we got our bakery. And then we got more houses. I'm not gonna bother to sort them out right now because I wanna get this video done as quickly as I can for you. And they go. Oops, <laughs> I made a mistake. Okay, so let's move these over here. Sorry, people. And what? Okay, and then we got the uh, water mill, 
the cabin, and then three donkeys. So let's go with that. All right, there's the water mill. There's the cabin. Oops. There's a goat. Here's my donkeys. Um, two, three. And then we look back at the image and we got more decorations. So let's start with the gardens up here in the corner. And they have to be flipped. All right, and then we have almonds and peaches. So, let's, we'll move that up after. Get the almonds first. Right, and then we have, I believe under those are the goats. So let's get these goats out of the way. And they were three across. Another thing I just figured out purely accidental is it looks like it puts everything in the inventory starting from your um oh never mind it didn't I don't know sorry <laughs> false alarm all right see how we can all right if you zoom in you'll be able to fit the things in when the window's in the way and i'm sure you all know you just zoom in by scrolling your mouse wheel where i all right and then we got the last row of ducks or goats boy i'm just really messing up today all right and then we have the houses Like the house with the, um, I won't bother to take the appearances off them right now. I just wanted to show you how easy and fast this can be. And if you have your template all drawn up already and you have it in another tab or on your desk in front of you, it's so much faster to get this done and out of the way. Okay, and then we got three more houses up here under the gardens. Apparently, I have to build another house. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we got the library and nursery. Or 
or lavatory. Lavatory. Mm. <sighs> Trying to do it fast for you and I'm messing up. Okay, now I can go ahead and put my decorations on. So we got a five by three, six by three. We don't have a five by three that I took off the farm. And apparently when it picks up your decorations, you can put them back down in place without having any build time. So that's nice. Okay, and we're not gonna put the five by six back on here. So let's put this here. And I don't know if I can, oh, oops, no. I don't know what's gonna happen to the ones that aren't gonna go back on my farm. Hopefully they will go in my inventory, but we'll have to wait and find out, okay? Cause I'm learning as I go too. All right, so two, two by twos and another six by three and a three by two. So here's my two by twos. And I don't have a six by three in here. Uh, four by four and uh, another three by two. So let's put this four by four right there. So I'll have these on this farm, so I'll have to wait until I'm done. And then a four by three goes right here. And then I'm all done for now, all right? So let's finish and see if these go in my inventory and let's hope that they do. Click on finish. And there it is, all done. And see my buildings are still ready to harvest and my decorations were in my inventory. That is fantastic. Everything worked like a charm. If you found this video to be helpful, please click on the like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss on, out on any of my future videos. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.